day and welcome along to the lab. For those of you who are regular watchers of the Geek Lab, then you'll know that this is not my usual venue. I am actually on holiday, but I thought, what is the uh, the problem with, you know, getting on with a bit of recording whilst I'm here on holiday in sunny Scotland? It's, uh, it's not actually that sunny out there. It's, uh, it's been raining and um, everything in between. But anyway, less about the weather and more about retro good stuff. A um, few changes to the channel are on the way when I get back to New Zealand. I am going to start a, uh, a bit of a sort of retro news uh, summary thing, which I'm going to start releasing hopefully on a weekly or maybe a bi-weekly basis, depending on the amount of uh, retro news that I can sort of collect in that period of time. So look out for that. That's coming really soon now. Anyway. Back to today's video. Today's video uh, was actually a suggestion made by another uh, fan of the channel. Uh, so thank you very much for that suggestion. Uh, big, big props. Um, so this this idea was basically to review uh, a game by IBM. Now, if you know IBM, uh, you'll not exactly think of those guys in suits uh, with anything to do with gaming. They were very strictly business only back in 1981 when they released the uh, IBM PC, they really didn't have much in the way of games to go on. In fact, all they really had was Donkey. If you remember, Donkey uh, was uh, commissioned by IBM to, uh, to Microsoft, a guy called William Gates, you might have heard of him, um, and uh, also a guy called Neil Conson. And uh, the story goes that they stayed up all night and uh, eventually um, came up with this donkey.bass which was a basic file um, microsoft basic um, and it came out with the original ibm personal computer to show the graphics capabilities all four color cga of course uh, of the original ibm pc and the capabilities that um, basic programming could have on um, on the ibm the original personal computer back in 1981 so if you haven't seen what uh, donkey looks like well this this is it so um there's not much to it <laughs> you really just have to jump from one side of the road to the next in your car and avoid smashing into donkeys which inevitably does happen so um that's yeah that's that's really all there was to it but if you notice back at the splash screen all the software that was coming out that was um made or at least licensed by ibm had this ibm license screen on at the beginning and uh, the IBM personal computer in this little box it was very uh, that was a kind of agreed nomenclature if you like of the way that IBM released software it would always have this sort of splash screen at the beginning so a game written by IBM in basic in 1982 uh, was released and when I say released um, it really is quite difficult to say uh, how released it was. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I go over to the Internet Archive website, you can see this uh, this entry for Attack by IBM, uh, publication date 1982. Um, and also if we go along, I think here this is Moby Games, it says here, whilst it seems impossible to believe that stodgy old IBM would create a program like this, it appears as if they did. The programming style and presentation conventions match all of the other IBM released basic programs of the time. It was probably meant to be IBM internal use only, but was leaked. So, uh, yeah, I don't think there was ever any sort of real publication of this game. I don't think it was released to the public. I think this is something that was internal. And if we go back to the, the archive, as I say, Internet Archive, you'll uh, you'll see why. So this... Um, uh, this release, in fact, it was on, it's on Moby Games as well. Um, in a show of corporate pettiness, your target is uh, in this game is Apple Computer's manufacturing base. Steve Jobs, it seems, was prepared for the seemingly unlikely occurrence. And as a fleet of fighters out to shoot you down, be careful to stay within the Earth's atmosphere and use your 35 bombs and 60 lasers wisely, dropping bombs on structures and shooting down the enemy fleet. After the plant is destroyed, the game loops. It was written in basic and all graphics in the game are ASCII characters. I'll, have a, I'll show you of the, the code, a brief summary of the code of the game as I can list the basic code 
off um, at the end of this video. But I just uh, just found this was very interesting that basically uh, people within IBM still had this very um, you know uh, anti-competitive mindset. Uh, we're against Apple, uh, clearly, at the beginning of the IBM PC. And, uh, you know, obviously, if, uh, my, if Apple did decide to take them to court uh, for other purposes uh, and say they were being anti-competitive or whatever, I guess they could have used this as some sort of example for that. But enough about that. Let's get on with the game, and I'll show you this game, that which probably would be entirely unmemorable were it not for this strange quirk of the fact that A, it wasn't ever really properly released as far as I can tell, and B, um, is, is anti-Apple in sentiment. Now, um, I'm actually using uh, my Apple Mac uh, laptop um, because I'm not obviously with my usual rig and I don't have my usual microphone, so, you know, everything's all up in the air this time around. Uh, as I'm running on the, the Apple Mac, I've run this program called Dapple Grey, which is just a front end for DOSBox. Um, it does have a few handy things, it allows you to sort of customize the environment for the, uh, for the game. This is pretty similar to other um, front ends for DOSBox. So, for example, if you want to set a CPU speed, uh, you can emulate a 386, a 486, a Pentium, and so forth. Because this game is written in BASIC for the original IBM, the speed of the game should be set right down to you know that very slow value, as slow as possible. So I've taken the CPU cycles right down to a thousand cycles there, um, or a, a, a thousand whatever they are, but basically custom value, set custom value, and I've set it at the bottom of the slider, which is a thousand. So the speed of the game runs about right. I don't know if it's absolutely correct and true to that of the original 4.77 uh, game, but it uh, is um, it's, it's going to be as close as I can anyway to get it. So let's uh, let's run the game. And to do that, we just click up here. Here's DOSBox, and as you can see, that splash screen that I told you about, um, General Utility Programs, IBM General Utility Programs. I love how they uh, call a game <laughs> utility program. I do know that they had um, a whole bunch of software released um, on sort of with basic software, Microsoft basic software written in um, Basica, uh, the version, the advanced version of basic, and they had those released on uh, floppy disks. But to my knowledge, this one never came out. You can see the release date here, October 7th, 1982. So that was kind of, yeah, that was a that was after Donkey.Bass came out. This was, um, you know, it's quite, quite probably even almost a year after. Um, so this has been after the PC had been in the life cycle uh, in the market for um, for just around about a year. I think the, the original IBM PC came out about um, September or October of 1981. So let's uh, let's get into it. Do you want instructions? Now um, I know if I press Y here. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's supposed to interact with the, the keyboard there and switch it to caps mode. Um, so here we go. Your mission is to attack and destroy the Apple computer manufacturing plant. There are allotted 35 bombs and 60 lasers. There are Apple-owned fighters trying to stop you. You must destroy them with your lasers. If you get hit by them, then you are destroyed. If you hit the ground, then you are destroyed. If you go out of the atmosphere, the blue line, then you lose all control. Wow. Except lasers and bombs, and your ship will begin falling. Drop bombs on all structures, and you will get points. The apple plant shown below is worth the most points. So, yeah, so this, this um, weird-looking thing, both apple plants, I guess. Don't know what these sorts of things are, but uh, we'll find out, right? Um, if you score is high enough after round one, then you're ready to face round two. I think that's the loop that we're talking about. Use cursor keys, uh, so um, eight on the numeric keypad to go up to and, and so forth. So you're basically using the old style numeric keys rather than the cursor keys, um, which we're more used to these days. Um, so four to drop bombs and six to fire the laser. So you can only really go up and down uh, five to stop. It's a bit. It, they're definitely weird. Um, why they couldn't have used like the space bar, the control key, or something like that, I do not know. But um, there you go. So um, let me just get this right. Five to stop, and uh, six to fire the laser. Four, right? Okay, so it's up and down. <laughs> it's really weird. Here we go.
Uh, uh, <laughs> I failed. Oh. Not easy. Not as easy as it looks. There you go. I think the, um, the, the speed might actually be too slow, if anything. Uh, let me just uh, change that value. really quite difficult. <laughs> I feel like this would probably be a lot easier if it were on the real hardware. Um, unfortunately I don't have an IBM PC with me. Let's try that again. There we go, there's a bomb going off. Right, okay, I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> ah! It, it doesn't seem to uh, get every single key press I'm doing, so I'm wondering if I'm still too slow. So I'll just, uh, I'll just set it one more time. Now it's probably running too fast. <laughs> Keep wanting to hit space to fire. Yeah, that's definitely too fast now. So anyway, that's the that's the game. You can see that there's uh, there's not much to it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and if you have a look, here's um, here's the the code for it in Basic. You can just uh, open this up with um, GW Basic. It's actually written in GW Basic. So I think uh, GW Basic was the original uh, Microsoft version. Uh, of basic uh, wasn't the basic a version which was the sort of uh, advanced version of basic uh, by Microsoft which was yeah so it was basic which was the in ROM version of basic as far as I know and then basic a basic a was the advanced version which had a few more commands which was not limited to the size of the ROM so it was located on floppy disks and distributed by, by IBM was another version of Microsoft's basic and then there was GW basic which came out with um, uh, the the sort of MS DOS version of um, of uh, the, the the floppies. So um, the the code is really very short. Um, in fact, uh, not not very long at all. You can see, um, you know, a lot of the, the the code is just very very basic. Sort of check a key is this value and so forth. That really is something that most people could write in their own time. Uh, there are a few interesting things. There's like a a def seg. Uh, commanded there somewhere um, I think that uh, forces the keyboard to go into caps lock mode and a few other little things that I looked up just to sort of find out what it does but it, yeah really basic and as you can tell it's all written in basic and it's um, all for uh, ASCII, uh, ASCII graphics there's no there's no real graphics in this so so yeah all all in 2270 lines of code but even that it's not really 2270 it's more like 270 or less um, yeah you can see here that that's uh, that's pretty much it so that's attack uh, by IBM uh, probably one of the very few official games written by IBM they did do a few other games they did um, games like you know blackjack and chess and that sort of stuff, just basic uh, basic games. A lot of them were written in basic and a lot of them were written for ASCII because they didn't know if um, the people who were playing these had a graphics display. And if you remember the original IBM PC itself didn't come out with color and it didn't come out with a graphical display. It couldn't display graphics at all. It could just display the ASCII code. So. Um, it's a very interesting sort of little snapshot, little tidbit of um, what IBM were up to, or somebody was up to in IBM, uh, either perhaps in their spare time, or uh, perhaps they were um, 
they were just um you know being cheeky fiddling around whatever it may have been um it's uh, it's definitely an interesting little unofficial snapshot it is available to download on the internet and it is available for streaming uh however um so it's quite difficult to actually find so uh, i'll drop the uh the url to where i found the download in the description below uh, if you want me to review any other games from, you know, I, I quite find this sort of, the, these sort of little Easter eggs, this sort of stuff quite fascinating. If you want me to review any games from either the sort of 80s or 90s DOS era of the PC, hit me up in the comments, let me know what games you would like to see uh, reviewed. I'm more than happy to do so. Uh, I think sort of like, yeah, the, sort of the end of the DOS era, sort of about 1998, probably about the cutoff of where I want to go so if it runs in MS-DOS then then it's probably something I'll, I'll consider if it runs in Windows 3.1 eh, maybe uh, but probably yeah I want to I want to keep it uh, MS-DOS kind of games um, so yeah let me know let me know if you want to see them reviewed um, like uh, like the, the gentleman did there and I will do my very best to get them reviewed for you and uh, also if you are watching and you haven't already subscribed please do subscribe to the channel. Please give this a thumbs up. Uh, it really makes a difference if you do that because uh, it makes uh, makes this channel become more popular uh, so people like you can get to see these sorts of videos. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching, the uh, watching the game being reviewed and also uh, check out my other videos if you, you might like some of them as well. There's a whole series of reviews of the first decade's worth of PC games uh, on the channel for you to check out. Until next time, catch you later. Bye.